What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be ranking every single Fortnite Mares event from worst to best. In last place, I have the first ever Fortnite Mares, which wasn't really officially branded as Fortnite Mares. In 2017, Fortnite hadn't quite made a name for itself yet, so this Halloween event was very minimal. The only changes were the reskinning of the rocket launcher into the pumpkin launcher, which is an iconic item, and introduced the rocket riding feature. It was the only gameplay change. Skull Trooper and Gold Trooper were also released in the shop, which are iconic skins, but they're kind of mid. Next up, 7th place, I have placed the 2022 Fort Nightmares. This was Chapter 3, Season 4, and it kind of had like a weird rave-themed Halloween, which I wasn't much of a fan of. The event was just not great. The wolf claws that were introduced were not useful. The howling, like, tracking thing didn't work very well and it was just wolverine claws but reskinned to put this weird wolf head on your like skin it was not great rick and morty skins were strangely being pushed heavily for this event and i think the pickle rick back bling was a free reward which has nothing to do with halloween i don't know i just think it wasn't that good the best change though from this halloween was probably changing shifty shafts into i think it was like country gables or something like that Ugh, i don't remember the name but it was like a scary mansion with the boss fight with the Inquisitor inside. But the Mythic Suppressed SMG was just not a good item. He dropped that and it just, it wasn't good. Sixth place, I have the 2023 Fort Nightmares, Chapter 4, Season 4. This was right before Fortnite OG was released. This update, for me, was extremely underwhelming with zero map changes. I don't know, I think the vault in Kato Thorn's mansion or whatever unlocked and he was a boss fight but there was no decorations around the map the only new item was the wood stake shotgun which for me is not a great shotgun it's all right but nothing nothing special and the cosmetics this season were carried by the jack skellington and michael myers collab i think the other like unique skins were very mediocre this season i didn't like it in fifth place i have placed the 2019 chapter 2 season 1 Halloween event. This gave us our first boss fight for Fort Nightmares, I believe, which was the Storm King. This was a limited time game mode which rewarded a free umbrella when you beat him and was incredibly fun to play. Playing this game mode, I think it was with four people. You could you could do fills, you could do your friends, but it was just it was a great game mode. It was really fun to play. Um, for the core gameplay, however, we got the Cube Fiends, which were limited to the middle island, and the I don't think there was any new items released. I could be wrong. If, if I'm wrong, correct me on that. But it was just returning with the pumpkin launcher and maybe the cube fiend crossbow, crossbow came back? I can't remember. This was a long time ago. For cosmetics, the hemlock skin was released this event, which was the first ever skin to be able to change styles mid-game using an emote, which is now a little more commonplace with built-in emotes changing your style, but back then this was revolutionary. Fourth place, I have placed 2021, Chapter 2, Season 8. This event was incredibly story-based, revolving around the Sideways and the Cube Monsters. This event included the new Sideways Scythe and the new boss, the Caretakers. The Caretakers were a mini-boss around the map that, when killed, would drop golden and purple items, and they gave such an eerie feel to the map. This event also included heavy fog around the map, which I always think is a plus. The decorations around here, around this season, were not great. I think we got the the Halloween store returned from the year before. Third place, I have the first official Fort Nightmares in 2018. Once again, this was another story-based Fort Nightmares update with a beautiful cinematic showing Kevin the Cube exploding and releasing cube fiends all over the map. The decorations were all around the map and were so plentiful. Retail Row included a Halloween store as well as almost every house around the map being covered in decorations and fog machines. This update gave us two new items, the Fiend Hunter crossbow and the new revolver, which had a new feature that we'd never seen before. When you hit fired, it shot much faster than when you were ADS'd. The second place goes to 2020. This update had the biggest gameplay changes ever added to a holiday event. Midas's Revenge included a new feature where when you died, you could no longer be rebooted, but instead you came back as a ghost. 
Sadly, this massive change to gameplay was available in the core game mode and not a separate LTM, which gave a bad view to some people who played this update, but I think that personally it was great. At the time I had a bit of like skepticisms about it because it was such a big change to the main gameplay, but that's kind of what we like to see now, knowing, like looking back, this was a great event. The witches' brooms and the candy were also added in this update, which had become a staple to Fort Nightmares. This update also released the Halloween store to the west of Holly Hedges, which was a greatly decorated building and was so good to add to the vibes. As well as the witches' shacks all around the map, which gave us barrels of brooms and lots of candy. First place event is going to this year's 2024 in Chapter 5, Season 4. This is the most recent Fort Nightmares, but it has delivered, changing Brawler's Battlegrounds into Brawler's Patch, which is covered in pumpkins and vines, along with a boss fight with the Ultima Carver, which drops the Golden Woodstick Shotgun and a Golden Pumpkin Launcher, as well as changing Reckless Railways into Freaky Fields, <laughs> hey, yo. Um, which has a great Fatal Fields vibe to it. Item-wise, we got plenty of returning items as well as new items such as the chainsaw and the boom billies. The chainsaw is a very good item, but the boom billies are a little lackluster, but they're cool. Cosmetics-wise, this is one of the best in years. Lexa Hexbringer outfit is probably one of the best Halloween outfits that we have gotten in years. Wave 2 of Nightmare Before Christmas collabs are very well done. Collabs with Texas Chainsaw and Saw were also very amazing and unexpected. 